I put my guy hey, Future, man. Album. Oh, it was it was a solid album. Future. Down South Legend. Yeah, man. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never liked you. Really, um, really well put together album, man. So um, I ain't going to dive deep into that because yep. a lot of that is mainstream. And people just, you know, people live their life off of Future. Yeah, so yeah. I don't think I necessarily have to go into depth with, you know, with, with a lot of things that he did. But I definitely had to put him in there. Uh, my next one is, yep. man, Pusha T. You know, mm-hmm. um, it's Almost Dry. The Almost That's Dry good. album, to me, I will say this. I will say this. Um, It wasn't better than Daytona to me. But, you know what I'm saying? Just because of the way they, Daytona was put together, Kanye produced that entire album. Kanye is going to have a lot more 808s, and, and, and the drum patterns are just totally different than the collaboration he had with Pharrell and um, Kanye. So I don't know if you guys didn't yep, notice that. Did. They yeah. split that yep. album half yep. and half. Kanye did half, and then Pharrell did half. Me, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm a fan of Kanye. Yeah, I like the Yeah um, I, I like do. I love I like Pharrell. The half, I love the uh, nerd. Better, me personally, I like the Yeah half, but I think he did a little bit better on that, me personally. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So most definitely, man. But again, you know, pushing on never, um, you know, leave you, leave you dry with the with the lyrics, the content, just you know, just giving you that 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 outside looking in, you know, um, that that dope boy feel, make you want to get out, hustle, get motivated by listening to. Man, so, I think do you on that album though? Do you, I think Kanye did have the better half, but Pharrell might have had the better song. I feel like out of the whole project. Like all together. So, what was your favorite track off of that joint? Man, I gotta say, uh, was it the one I might be thinking about? Um, wait, wait, no, 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 okay, I'm thinking about the wrong album. I'm thinking about the one before that, the one with him. What was the one with him and his brother? He's like, "You're gonna die." Hold on, I gotta, I gotta look at the name of it. Uh, so, with- so Malice was on that. So Malice was on that joint too. Yeah. It was the last track on that album. So that may be the one that you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I think that I think I think that was my I pray uh, for you. hold up. I'm about to look right I now. I pray for you. That's the one Malice huh? was on. I pray for yep. you. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. that was my favorite track. That that was my okay, favorite track. Okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, and, and no lie, that that's not a, that's not a bad track yeah. at all. So when I went through the list, I wanted to go through and that wasn't um the the ones that again that didn't play in the top 100s, yeah. right? I'm like I said, I'm more lyrical driven. I really want to get to see what they're talking about, man. To be honest with you, one of my favorite ones is "Call My Bluff." Yeah, and of course, "Hear Me Clearly." But the Diet Coke, man, like the Diet Coke, of course, that was everybody's, you know, saying theme song for a minute. Yeah, yeah. So that was the one rang out. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday's price is not today's price. (laughs) (laughs) Like for real, has some good beats on it, but I just think, you know, saying. with Ye sampling and stuff, I just think his sampling is just was a little bit better on that project to me. I just thought his sampling and, his, and the way he kind of put the samples together and stuff like that, along with you know pushing voice and vocals yeah. and bars, it kind of just went it like it just went hand in hand. You know, you know he can work good with Pusha. Like when him and Pusha get in get in there together, they work so well together. Like they play off each other with the beats, the samples, the vocals, yeah. the bars. It just goes so good together. Yeah, and then sometimes yeah, for real, of, sometimes for real, get kind of off the beat and path with his beat sometimes, and it kind of throw me. But you know, well, yeah, he kind of like he got that he can hone in with with um with push a little bit better. Yeah, I, yeah, no, yeah. you're definitely right. I, I agree like, with that. I, I like, I, but well, for real, I feel like for real brought that grinding push back, grinding pushing malice back with that with that you know that man, especially with like that last track. I just love how. Malice and Push, they was going like really. If you didn't know, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know who started and who stopped when it was going back and forth. You was like, "Ooh, like yeah. you know what I mean." You really had to yeah. know to know like, okay, this is Malice right here. I'm surprised he you got know, him. I'm surprised just, he got him right. on the track. Yeah, I'm yeah, surprised yeah. he got him on the track. You know, as much as he's been like yeah. not want to rap, you know what I'm saying? But I'm surprised he actually got talked him into getting on the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, he has been has doing he? more music lately, though. Uh, Malice yep. has been doing more music lately. Um, he did um, a couple tracks on that Nico album yeah. too. Yep. And he got a lot of writing creds on that um, Kanye joint. So he's been doing. He's been getting a lot more um, active, going back into it, um, getting back into it, and just to bring that up, 
to be honest with you, Malice has always been my favorite out of the really? clips, to really? be honest okay. with you. Okay. I just got to okay. throw that out there. Yeah, Malice has always been my favorite out of the clips, bro. Like, always. Just, you know what I'm saying, hands down. Man. So, who 